Zero Center Frame. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be talking about not one, not two, not three, but four board game bags. I'm gonna be standing up today since we're gonna be talking about some pretty tall bags here. So first off, thank you to Top Shelf Fun for sponsoring this video. Now first off, we have the Game Hall Gateway Tote Bag. So this is a larger than average tote bag. I would say it's bigger than your typical grocery bags. Now this bag has some belt-like straps that are sewed into the sides. And in the middle, what binds the handles together is a Velcro strap that's included right at the very top. Now the material itself is this polyester lining. And then there's one side of the material where it has a plastic lining so you can see exactly what games you have underneath each other. And of course, directly behind that is the logo game hall itself. And also on another side also has this mesh pocket here. So you can include any kind of accessories you'd like. For example, here I have a couple of main boards from Iwari. Now I'll go ahead and list the dimensions for the tote right here, but then visually you can see that it fits one, two, three, four average sized box games. You could probably fit one more thin one right on top. And the last thing I wanna mention is that there are a couple of predefined seams that you can also fold along so you can organize it accordingly. Now bag number two is the Game Night bag, the Even Fall Blue. Now like the tote bag, there is another Velcro up top, but this time the side straps are much thicker. Now included in this bag is this shoulder strap, which you can use to obviously sling it over your shoulder. It's tied with some metal straps to each side. On the top panel here, along with zippers that say Game Hall, open it up, we have a inner mesh lining. Like in here, I put Siege Storm, which is a mini card game. And then in this inner lining, you can include some filler games, some small box games. Here, I actually put some accessories from Zombie Side, so the 3D doors. Closing that up and swinging it over to the side, we have two side pockets here, which can fit two hydro flasks or two water bottles of your choice. Or anything that you want that is cylindrical shaped, it does have this little expansion here, so you can stretch it out a little bit more. Play mats would fit here as well. Now on the opposite end, we also have a zipper pocket, which you include anything you like. Here, I also put some other cards. I put Master of Elements, which was an expansion for Vikings Gone Wild, and a normal deck of cards that I got from a convention way back when. A science convention, actually, not a board game convention. Although I would love to attend a board game convention one day. The shoulder straps were included in that pocket when the bag first was given to me. And lastly, the main showstopper here is, of course, the main compartment, which bound by Velcro, and there are also two zippers on the side. And when you unzip this foam padding here, you have room for some more board games. So you have Zombie Side, Everdell, and Plunder. Now all of the insides have this foam and also this new pattern that's all going to be included in another bag that I'm gonna show you in a bit. But let me take out all the games so you can see exactly what it looks like on the inside. And that is the inside, exact same pattern as you can see from before. Now one other thing I wanted to mention is the commonality that's going to be present in this bag as well as the next two bags I'm gonna show you. But on the bottom here, we have like this plastic kind of spiky shaped material. So this I think is to of course keep your bags nice and clean so it doesn't touch the bag itself. And also to keep it from slipping and sliding everywhere and anywhere. And moving on to bag number three, we have the Game Hall Backpack in Arkham Green. So this is version one. So straps to Velcro up top. We have on the first side here, this giant mesh pocket. We have yet another mini mesh pocket here. So this one, as you can see in the B-roll from the beginning, it can fit like maps from like Root and then also has a strap up here so you can secure it. Water bottles, game maps, play mats, what have you, whatever that fits into this compartment, you can fit that right here. And the front also has a slim pocket here so you can put in like cards or like conference ID badges. Opening up the top, we have a similar layout to the last one. So we have the mesh pocket right up top. And then up top, of course, you have more room for small box games. Like here I have Tiny Epic Tactics and the expansion. And the last feature I wanna mention that is on the outside of the bag is of course the backpack straps themselves, which are located here. And there's also some padding included right in the center. And of course, opening up the main compartment, we have a bunch more games. So here we have Small World, Marvel Champions, Legend of Korra, uh, Brass Birmingham, King's Guild, which is still shrink wrapped, and Wavelength. Here showing you six average size games. Now that leads us to the final bag that we're gonna be talking about today, and that is bag number four, which is. So as implied in the name, it has a brand new color scheme, which is the medieval gray. First side pocket, again, where you can fit mini games or also some accessories. Like here I have the root resin and clearing markers. So this fits nicely into that slot here. Now opposite to that, we have the multi-use side pockets, which is an upgrade for this backpack as well. Here we have two separate side pockets. So one here, you can fit like a water bottle. And then here is like a play mat that I included for root. And then there's also a strap right up top that secures them in place. Top latch, again, more room for components. So here I put 
here to slay right up top. And in the mesh pockets, I also have standees for the game that I included as well, along with their bases. And that's included up top, zipped up. Inside the main compartment, we have zip, zip, more games. So here I want to show you something a little bit different. So instead of just standard size games, I put Suburbia, which is a massive, massive box. And also put Tainted Grail, which is again, yet another giant box. We have Wingspan and of course Root, since we do have the Root playmat over here. Now, a third feature that you also saw in the Evenfall blue bag, the Game Night bag, is also this uh, screen printing here that's shown in the pattern. So that pattern is the Chits and Bits screen printing that's included all over in the inside of the bag. And also the main compartment has room for yet another zipper slim lining. So here I included some card sleeves from Here to Slay. And with that are four bags from Top Shelf Fun. So let me know down in the comments below which one is your favorite and also which bags you use as your storage options for carrying board games around. For me, before even carrying these bags, it was just lugging them around like so from car to house. Um, have they fallen out of my hands before? Maybe. Have they fallen onto the concrete before and slipped out with pieces everywhere on the street and cars maybe have rolled over some of the miniatures? Maybe. But if you've been following this channel for some time now, you know that broken board game pieces and lost board game pieces to the ocean and just lost pieces in general. You know what? That's just not new to this channel. But with that, I hope you enjoyed this overview video. If you're interested in any of the bags, I've also included a link in the description below. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.